All right, so it's pretty late. It's like 10 o'clock. I literally just got home from work. Wife is asleep. I decided to have a big old giant celebration because I got a whole bunch of work done. Pizza, salad, well, salad. Salad dipped into balsamic and vinegar and uh, oil, <laughs> olive oil, and some pizza, leftover pizza. Anyway, it's a feast for me. But look, do you guys ever do this? Do you ever like watch TV and you know where they filmed it? And you're constantly looking in the background at the plants to see if there's anything you see. Here's a yucca, that would be expected. So I'm watching a show called How Drought and the Fight for Water is splitting the state of California. I'm obsessed about water. My whole life revolves around water. I need water. I need lots of water. I need it cheap. I need it available so I can grow exotic, subtropical, drought tolerant plants so I could put them in people's landscapes so they don't need much water. So I need a lot of water to start with so that we could save water in the, uh... hi pumpkin. Hello. Uh, so in the long run, we can save water across the whole state, but even drought tolerant plants need ample water to start their lives and get to size so that we could put them in people's landscapes. However, what's interesting here is not only this really cute lady You'll see this if you watch this show. It's on YouTube. Um, just Google that right there, over there, whatever. Google, search it on YouTube, you'll find it. And I watch all of the water videos and stuff. Like I said, I'm obsessed with all about the hydrology of California, especially the West in general, and um, anything having to do with uh, water being applied to crops, especially lots of things in Israel. There's all kinds of amazing things they're doing in Israel with. Uh, turning the desert into an oasis. Pumpkin, stop that. No, 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 no. <clears throat> but the most interesting thing here, actually, is what's behind this nice, cute lady. In this same clip, I saw that there was a wisteria blooming over here, and I could identify that plant. But look at this. This is interesting. This is an arbor. Um, and it's, a, again, it's in Porterville where they're having severe water problems. Um, she's watering her plants here. I can just imagine how beautiful this garden is. She looks like a very sweet grandma-like character figure. Um, but behind her here, I'm nearly sure this is a plant called Petria volubus, which is a really rare vine. I'm not sure exactly where it's native to. I should probably look it up. Um, but I have one in my San Diego garden, and I've been obsessed about this vine for a very long time. And uh, I'm nearly sure. <laughs> what I love about YouTube is I get all kinds of opinions on the comments. So I want you to watch this video, because everybody should watch this video. Uh, look, it's got like, gosh, a lot of views. Like probably, what, 15 times more views than my best video ever. So these guys are way better than me. Um, but watch this video and get to this point, which is at 1551 and tell me what you think. Petria volubus. I think it might be named to Brazil. I'm not sure, but it's the most beautiful vine ever. However, it's rather, um, tender to frost. And so I find it intriguing that it is here and I, you know, like I said, I can't totally confirm it. I've watched this clip about four times. It goes by pretty fast. But um, I want anybody to think like, okay, what would that be? Remember I said it's blooming at the same time Wisteria is blooming, which is like March, probably like uh, late February, March, uh, maybe into early April. Um, it blooms a little sooner than Southern San Joaquin Valley where Portoville is. So... Anyway, it's just something, something, something fun for you guys to do. And just another dumb video, right, Pumpkin?